Hey guys, what's up? Liru here, and we've already shown how we built this nice little Star Destroyer and stacked her to make her work properly, but now it's time to do the same with the Mon Calamari Star Cruiser. So this is going to be a space battle, so first things first, I do want to take everything on the Star Destroyer. I'm going to elevate it slightly. And this is so that, you know, people can fly lowball under the ship. But otherwise, you know, keeping things even. Thinking this will be a good firefight. And then to move the ship over. Because here's what I'm thinking. We're going to have the rebels spawn at this little airbase here. And then the Empire can spawn at this airbase. And that keeps it pretty even for the distance I mean more or less stuff that we can go for but here's the real issue with uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 what we're trying to model and whatnot we get home one in space battles we don't get the calamari cruiser here so we have to be a little creative with how we um, do the ship designs here so I've been looking through models uh, I've been looking at other games like Empire at War and I think I have a solution you see these little uh, blips right here that's literally where the turrets were placed so to keep things even we're gonna look at how many turrets we have on this ship so we've got about eh, doing a head count let's see one two oh we can't move down really okay one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three turbo laser battle leaves, uh, navy turbo lasers. So we've got to put twenty-three turbo lasers on this puppy and try to, you know, three sixty cover it, kind of like what we've done here with main batteries on the sides but you know a few around you know just to make it work so it'll be interesting to say the least looking at our design familiarizing ourselves with what we made it's mainly eight facing left eight facing right you know one facing the rear and then you know one's facing the sides and the flanks so 23 to copy that shouldn't be too difficult the best thing we could do is take this for example we can just for scripting purposes let's move it over here now I know what you're thinking we will why did you actually just take it from the ship and the reason is because I'm a complete idiot so let's take a copy <laughs> uh, it's gonna you know spawn the gun under it because it does that sometimes because it's retarded but let's uh, let's just delete that. And now let's go into turrets. Let's find the Navy Turbo Laser for the Rebel side. And now let's move this puppy up. Get it right over. Perfect. Make sure she's balanced perfectly over these four squares. We don't want anything knocking the turret over prematurely. Cause that would that would suck. <laughs> Come on, baby. And we'll elevate it a little bit. Trying to get the distance on it properly. That looks okay. So let's uh, let's put it in the ship somewhere. So looking at you know the main places to put these batteries, we do have a bridge right here. So let's uh, I think what looks like a bridge. Let's see how this thing looks kind of facing like this. Just put it out there. Something like that. So, players, multiplayer, blah, 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 test run. Let's uh, get into just a random slot here because this is for debug purposes. We did some uh, test runs with some dog fighting. It was pretty fun. Yeah, continue, blah, blah, blah. We're just trying to make sure it works. Get on, Zeus. Okay. Look over to where we put it on the ship. And boom. 
stays on, she looks a bit lopsided, actually. So, hmm. Let's look at it back on the Eden editor. Bit of load. So she spawns in fine. It's just she just comes in a bit lopsided. So what if we did like this? Kept it even. Play multiplayer. Let's try again. A lot of this is going to be trial and error because when you're setting things up like this, you can't do manual attachments because it makes it glitchy with the turrets and the turrets won't work right. And you can't, you know, just tie everything together in the Eden editor because the scripting process would probably take even longer. So looking at it again, now the turret completely fell off and is actually on the ground right here. So this ship actually seems to be textured. So I'm going to quickly do a test here. I'm going to spawn in a vulture droid. Add it to the interface. It's going to add in blanks. I'm going to need to take a man. Standing by. Put a scout trooper in to crew it. See, it's not solid though. Are there parts of it that are solid? Because it doesn't look like it based on what I'm doing with it. So this is quite interesting, which, again, is kind of why I hate working with this type of terrain. But, you know, not terrain, but, you know, the, the structure of the ship, it just, ugh, you know what I mean? So we're going to have to go with some slightly floating models here. I'm not really looking forward for that, but what if we did something like this? I'm thinking let's just put down the 23 turrets where we can, and then we'll just work from there. Oh, God. And then we're going to have to reset the turret each copy and paste. So that's perfectly fine. Ah, come on, interface. Normalize it down, ease it on. So we'll just, uh, you know, trial and error, see how things go here. And then I'm thinking for the front, let's just do this. You know, they've got two frontal turrets. We can do two frontal turrets like this. Now, the only issue is uh, we do have editors, so we can put upside down turrets, but it's not gonna work too well because they need they require these four boxes to stand on otherwise they fall through and again we can't do attach commands because otherwise um the turrets will get all wonky speaking of wonky what the hell is that why the uh turret fell over it's because the platform was uneven hold on now i gotta check these turrets Make sure they're all completely aligned here. But let's lift you up. See if you're okay. You're not okay. So this is probably why the turret fell over. Is because the damn boxes aren't even. Ay ay ay, that ain't good. Sometimes when you copy and paste, it glitches out the damn boxes. Because it's so small. What the hell just happened to that box? What the hell? It's going way up in the damn skybox. Alright, here. Here's what we need to do. Just take it. Lower it. Take that. Delete it. Take that. Delete it. We're just going to completely replace the turrets here. First off, let's uh, let's take that, move it, make sure that this box is even. Heck, let's just, no, not you. We're taking the box, and I'm just going to completely remake this little platform from scratch, because it's clearly not behaving the way we'd like it to.
That's lined up. Good. That's lined up. And that's lined up. All right. Let me just take the turret and put it over accordingly. So let's uh, let's take what we got here. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and copy and paste twenty three turrets. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 23. Boom. All the turrets we're going to work with. Now let's get to work. So let's test one out by putting it on the ship now. Scroll in. Aim it a bit forward with the ship. Now let's play it in multiplayer. Now, we can hope now that the turrets will remain stable on those little platforms we made back when we made the Star Destroyer. Take a few seconds to load in, that's fine. Hit the Y button. Close the faction crap about the Rebellion, that's fine. Hear the wind. See, turret stays on. Leans a little bit, but actually I kind of like that. It leans with it. Rest of these turrets, let's look at them. They're staying on their platforms. That's exactly what we want to see. None of them are tipped over. None of them are falling. It's perfect. And now we just got to stack the turrets where we want them. So we have this one right here. We're going to now move over. Symbolize a frontal, two frontal cannons. As to, we're trying to model off the Imperial Star Destroyer here. So the Star Destroyer has, after that, it's got two smaller flanking guns. Well, I'm just doing a head count again. So 8, 16, 17, 8, 19, 20, 22, 23 again. So it's got two flanking under cannons, main deck batteries, and then a rear cannon. So we're going to change it up a bit to kind of fit the geometry of this ship. So I'm going to count out 16 right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got five turrets here to kind of put in some pretty interesting angles. And I've already, you know, scouted out the ship where I want to put a few. And there's one I want to put right here. A little tricky spot, but I think we can do it. Oh, don't do that glitch to me. The trick here is the size. So we got to put it in a bit. But yeah, facing just like that. We got to normalize it a little bit. Kind of even it out. Hide those squares as much as we can. But look at that. Ah, fuck. Come on. Come on put it a little deeper then just like that now hopefully if we look on the other side eh, it's exposing a little bit but an internal turbo laser right on the bottom a really crafty spot but it really does overwatch the bottom of the ship and that's what i like to see with these turret placements got to be crafty with them now that leaves us with four to kind of put around So we've got some focusing on left and right. I'm thinking, let's see, in terms of interesting spots to put them, we also need a rear turret. Let's be perfectly honest. And I think the perfect place to put it is right here facing the back. So just flip that puppy around, lower her, and you can attach her slightly. Boom. Not bad. You know, keep the engine secure. Oh, shit. That would be even better. Let's take another one of our free turrets. And put it right smack dab in the middle of that engine block. Both ships, you know, they got trade-offs. The Imperial Cruiser, I'm thinking, you know, it's got its heaviest firepower where these deck guns are. So at its flanks, it's a beast. But if you outmaneuver it, 
or, you know, try to fly under it, for example, you're good if you can stay under the turrets. However, if you try to, you know, get cheeky and go where the, um, you know, the uh, Star Wars 2, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 tactic for some of the frigates, for example, is flying in these little ha uh, these little areas. And I know for um, Battlefront 2 with the Imperial Star Destroyer, you can kind of fly in this section, but if you do, you got to be careful because of these turrets. But it's completely exposed on its underside here. However, the Calamari Cruiser, it's going to have, you know, more coverage with its turrets, but it's not going to be, you know, focused firepower on its broadsides. So I think that's how we're going to balance this, you know, just see how things go. So let's grab one of those free turrets again. Unless I already did while I was talking, I did. Okay. You know, you just get inspired with working with some of this stuff because it's so fucking cool. And then boom, we'll just literally level the puppy, aim it back like that, Look, make sure the blocks aren't doing anything, and then here we are. Let's do some touch-up details, move it a little more to the left, make sure it's facing the rear, and then boom, got another rear turret. <laughs> got this floating one. What are we going to do with you? Because now it's just kind of, you know, checking around here so let's uh i'm thinking for some of these let's uh bear with me here what if we you know take some of these slots and we just put a turret facing forward and a turret facing back because if you look at this this isn't pure symmetry here so there's going to be a little bit of unevenness with some of these you know little ruddles they look like shits to be honest but yeah working with that and then we'll just you know stack the guns like that Big frontal coverage, but it won't be in specific areas. So let's stack that. Perfect. And then we'll just stack the ships from there. And then, you know, some of the smaller ones like this, we can have facing the flank. So, like, left side like this. And it's all because there's just no perfect symmetry here, so we gotta work with what we've got. But we can put a few flanking turrets down. And we can kind of make it symmetrical with the design, but, you know, these ships were designed by frickin' calamari squids after all so <laughs> here and then we can stack you know to kind of make it even stack one right there take another one we can double stack a turret to um you know have two facing that same flank Elevate it a little bit, make it a bigger target. So we've got three facing broadside, or whichever side it technically is, and we got two facing back and forth. So let's mirror that on the other side. So let's get five turrets going here. I'm just going to take my five. Woo! Now, let's see, we've got the two kind of like that. So I'm going to stack them. Where should I stack them? Because there isn't really that size of a piece on the left side now that I look at it. Uh, let's put them like right here. And take that second one. Just slightly swing it around. Boom, good to go. And now for the flanking ones, one we can have them all face that way. Grab the first piece. And we've got one facing by itself and two that are kind of stacked. So we can actually... Hmm. Let's do something like this. Got one like this. Have it face left. Let's lower it a little bit. Boom. <clears throat> perfect, perfect. Now let's take these two pieces. 
lower them so we have it uh, have them to work with. Align them properly, and then we can move one right here. And move one a little further back, like right here. Perfect. <clears throat> perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, looking at the rest of the ship, where does it feel like it needs more turrets? We've got a fairly decent number to still work with here. So let's uh, let's take this. I mean, I instantly see a few areas where we can definitely make this look better. Something like that. Then we can have a rear-facing one right here. You know, I love how Home 1 has that even symmetry. It makes it so much prettier. But with this Mon Calamari ship, you know, it's not so easy to stack everything. But, hey... Can't ask for perfect triangle symmetry like the Imperials. <laughs> You're on a budget fighting your rebellion. <laughs> uh, Alright, hold on, I see. Let's lower you a bit. Blend you in a bit. Make that turret, you know, a bit more phased in. Same with that one. Alright. Where else? Where else? I'm thinking maybe we could put one leaning left, kind of like this. So watch this. Because again, we're trying to go for maximum coverage. So what if we had them like, kind of leaning like that? And we took another one. Since we don't have an immediate right side to do it, we could... That's too far back. We could put it like right here. Have him leaning right. And yep, he's not too exposed. So we've got five turrets left. Hmm. Thinking we could stack another one to be facing the rear, you know, adding to the 360 coverage. But I'm also looking down here. Now, I think that's an engine. Maybe. This thing has a lot of fucking engines. But you know what? Let me, let me just see. Because I think that would be a really cool turret emplacement. So it is even on both sides too. So what if we did... Oh my god, this was made for it. That was totally made for it. Stop. Ah, don't do that, don't do that. Where you're like uncontrollable in that regard. But yeah, come on. Engine placement or not, that is a nice position for a turret. You gotta give me that. What happened to our turret down here? I might have accidentally moved it, but that's perfectly okay. We've still got turrets to place. So let's replace that puppy. All right, so you're gonna need a little bit of micro here, buddy. Make sure you fit. That. Yeah, we got a little bit of texture coming out, but that's fine. We'll live with it. All right. Three turrets left. I want to now keep it even on that other side of the engine. Come on. Come on. This is going so well. I'm excited. I'm excited for this Wednesday, 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when we're doing the space battle and the land battle. And I will be coming out with videos left, right, and center to show off everything, all the prep work and all the awesome ops we do with this mod set because it's going to be amazing. We've got two turrets left. How are we going to keep it even? Here, let's get your friend up here too. Let's just, let's just look at it from what we have on the surface. We've got... You know, three flanking, three flanking, a few front and back, front and back. Hmm. If we've got ones facing like this, I feel like... Hmm. I feel like we should have some facing, like, you know, the... But then again, these cover it pretty well. Oh, this is so difficult. Hmm. What if we double stacked so we had two turrets overwatching that direction? So we had something like something like this. So 
So for here, we had this puppy, and we had it face that way. So come in like that, that's perfect. And then you, we'd move over here. Awesome, yeah. So this is our Rebellion Mon Calamari Cruiser. And she looks pretty badass right now. Featuring some pretty nice hidden turrets. And she is going to go off against our Imperial Star Destroyer. Who has the same amount of turrets. And is definitely loaded to bear. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for the auto save, but we're going to look at this in a multiplayer perspective. I want to make sure all the turrets stay on, and uh, just make sure they fire okay. So let's see it. Yeah, yeah, don't load in with the map, blah, blah, debug. <laughs> this is exciting. Blah, blah, rebellion, they're classless, I know, that's because this mod is funny. She looks amazing. Now, of course, to add her to the interface, to put her in range, 500, that'll add everything together. Hmm. Okay. So we're having some slight issues here. Some of them are acceptable, but the main two concerns I have are two turrets. One, in this echelon, I need to make sure those blocks are even. That's not, that's not logical. God damn it, all right. I'm gonna have to check some of these blocks. So bottom turret, uh, right engine turret, and this is main frontal gun turret. But let's look at round burst good coverage and basic fog of war hides the ship because I don't want the ships to just outright fight each other here that's good that's good so three turrets to look at three things to make little micro edits on perfect and then we should be good to go So you're the first one. What's wrong with you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff that's wrong with you. Uh, boom. 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 All right, let's lower you back. Okay. I guess those boxes just don't like being stacked with each other. Let's raise you up. Same issue. These boxes are not playing nice. No, if you're too close to it when you edit it, sometimes it pulls that, and I really hate that. No, come on. Let me line you up. Boom. Could use a little more adjustment, my friend. There you go. You. Boom. Boom. All right, let's lower you back. I feel like I'm just playing with, like, little, you know, fuel cells or something, and then just load them back in. Perfect. All right, and then you also had an issue. Because, again, your things are misaligned. So, boom. Boom. And boom. Boom. All right, and because they were missile, okay. I think we took the turbo lift up a little too high, my friend. Let's just lower you down a bit. And since we're realigning them, that should also all. I went down. Why did you go up? We don't have an inverted mouse, my friend. Boom. All right. Play it in multiplayer.
from role as the server loads, cannot establish position, blah, 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 blah. Loading her in, boom. All right. Let's see it. Now I don't see any turrets on the ground. Let's confirm that. 500 range. Everything is now even. Going to look to make some final edits. How about this? Let's edit that. And then is there anything lopsided here? Not really. I kind of like how these ones are a bit lopsided. But this one will fix. Everything else looks fine. How does the under turret look? Let's get a camera look at what this thing can shoot at. So it actually, you know, it has a limited up and down range here, but all the way from there to all the way here. Again, limited camera, but knowing the player base, you never know what you're going to need. So I'm going to make that one last change and then save it. We should be good to go. So let's quickly look at this gun. Raise her a bit. Her boxes need tweaking. Oh god, no, 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 don't, don't. Oh, I hate it when it does this. Little inverted camera crap. Stop. See, I, it's just me taking it up and down and it's going all fidgety. Just, just line up, buddy, and it'll all be okay, I promise. Boom. And then we just gotta lower her back where she belongs. And that's perfect. Alright, guys. Mon Calamari Cruiser's ready. Imperial Star Destroyer's ready. I'll probably publish a small video showing off how I make the two bases. Uh, Rebel Base, you know, it has a bunch of AI. We'll be deleting that and moving it. I'll be changing the slots around. And I will also show off the mod combination I use and do some talking. But the big two enchiladas are ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed chilling out with me. I hope you come watch this live from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. And hey, if it all goes well, we're definitely going to make it a regular thing. So if you want to come and play with this shit, by all means, come to a Friday off. We'll get you to Tier 1. And then boom, we've got it right here probably do it every wednesday for a while until late august or something <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching go operate operationally and take care i'm so fucking excited for this <laughs>